Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to Bidnex. Today we are diving into a topic that's going to be a game changer for anyone who works with Excel. Debugging VLOOKUPs using trace precedents and trace dependents. If you have ever found yourself scratching your head over unexpected results or errors in your VLOOKUP formulas, stick around because we got solutions for you. Before we move forward, I would like to tell you that BTNX has an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description box below. We'll talk more about it later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day to day life? What if I tell you that you're wasting 95% of your time while you're doing so? How so you will be asking me? Because you're not using chat GPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. All right, let's get into it. VLOOKUP is a powerful tool, but let's be honest. It can be a bit tricky. We all faced those moments of frustration when the formula doesn't behave as expected. Today we are going to explore how to use trace precedents and trace dependents to untangle the web of VLOOKUPs. Ever wondered where your VLOOKUP is getting its data from? Trace precedents is the Sherlock Holmes of Excel helping you trace the cells referenced in your VLOOKUP formula. Let's dive into a practical example to see it in action. As you can see here we are having a data which contains item column then price column after that category column. So what we are doing is we are going to find out the price of cheese. So here I am using VLOOKUP so you can see that so we are uh, taking VLOOKUP lookup value as cheese then we are giving the table array so then after that uh, we are giving column index number then we are specifying true or false false means exact match so what we'll do now is we'll use trace precedent so to use trace precedent you have to go to formulas tab from ribbon here you have to click on trace precedent so if you see cheese this value is depending on this entire data And you can also check for tomato uh, price also. You can click on trace president. And you can see tomato price is also depending on this entire data. So you can remove these arrows by clicking on remove arrows. So for example, here I'm just finding out some of these values. If I click on this value and then click on trace president, you can see this value is depending on all these values. So if something changes in these values, this value will also be changed. So now let's look at trace dependence. Before that, I would like to tell you that AI is reshaping the job landscape and staying ahead is not an option but a necessity. In just a short span, we have witnessed significant changes and you might be concerned about job security. The good news. AI won't replace you, it's 
complement you to ensure you are at the forefront of this transformation join our two hours microsoft office using ai tools workshop learn about the best ai tools to upskill boost productivity and future proof your career make your future secure with us join our workshop by clicking the link in the description box now now back to our topic now that we have understood where our we look up is looking let's flip the script trace dependence shows you which cells are dependent on your we look up result it's like having a backstage pass to the inner workings of your spreadsheet for example uh, so let's i'm selecting cheese price here then i'm clicking on trace dependence you can see on this value these two cells along with this cell are depending upon this one cell or oh, in this one also same oh this value also bread uh, price you can see on this value these two values cheese price tomato price and this some total price these three values are depending we can also see for chicken same thing we can just click on remove arrows to remove the arrows from the sheet if you want to learn more about uh, trace precedents and trace dependents you can do one thing you can go to chat gpt and search for trace precedent you can see oh so this is the information which we got so as you can see oh excel will draw arrows to indicate that cells that contribute to the selected cells formula the arrows will point from the president cell to the selected cells so you can oh, also ask a uh, chat gpt can you explain with a uh, example like that as you can see here we got a uh, one sample example or you can also ask a uh, chat gpt so so that it also shows some data around it so that we can understand in a better way so it is uh, suggesting us these steps to perform we can also learn about trace dependence in a same way so in this way you can learn uh, many more things using chat gpt let's get back to our spreadsheet let's tie it all together we'll summarize what we have learned emphasizing how trace precedents and trace dependents can be your excel superhero caps when dealing with we look up challenges in the end do like comment share the video and subscribe to our youtube channel for more such insightful content also check out our workshop link in the description box below we'll appreciate your support and we'll see you in the next video thank you for watching